In the four years since the Grenfell Tower fire, thousands of Londoners have discovered their own blocks of flats are not safe. Often built with the same combustible cladding as Grenfell, urgent work is needed to make people's homes safe. While some of that work is being funded by the government, many are being asked to foot the bill themselves. Residents in one South London apartment block have found out just how much that might cost them. This from our reporter, Helen Drew. What's your favourite thing about this flat? Um, it's just the right size. It's not, like, too big and it's not too small. Like. The McGovern's own just under half this flat as part of a shared ownership scheme with a mortgage of £120,000. Emma is a primary school teacher with a modest salary and yet last week... For the whole amount, they're, they're asking for this block just over £2.5 million. A letter from her housing association telling her the cost of work to make her building fire safe, which works out at £85,000 for each flat. Well, I sort of went from feeling a bit nervous about it to just thinking it's just crazy, isn't it? I, I don't know anyone who could find that. You know, our family don't have that sort of money. Our friends don't have that sort of money. I don't think many people do these, these, these days. This block is lots of um, key, key workers, lots of teachers like myself, lots of nurses, um, there's people who work for the council. Her home is Oyster Court in Southwark, which is entirely shared ownership. The building is five storeys high and, crucially, under 18 metres, which means it's not eligible for any of the government's £5 billion bailout for high-rise buildings with combustible cladding. But this one just here, right next to it, is that little bit taller and means potentially they can get the funding. And we get nothing. We have to somehow find 85,000 to pay for the work that needs to be done. Liam Spragley bought a 25% share of his flat here for just over £70,000. I mean, it's heartbreaking. Um, I've watched the area change dramatically. I've watched huge new buildings come up and have an effect on my house price and then to know that it's basically been eradicated and that I'm stuck. I'm stuck in a building that potentially could set a light and a blaze could run all the way through it within a moment and that I would lose everything. The government told us building owners should make buildings safe without passing on costs to leaseholders and they're introducing new measures that will legally require building owners to prove they've tried all routes. The Housing Association Optivo told us we'll only pass cost to leaseholders as a last resort if all other options have been exhausted and they will continue to lobby the government to protect leaseholders from the costs. Can't quite see the balcony from here. It was the dark, it's the dark wood one there actually, you can just make it out. The area's MP used to live in the taller neighbouring block and says the responsibility sits with the government. This is a problem of the government's creation. The government didn't regulate the, the materials being used properly. The government changed the rules retrospectively on what could be used. The government is imposing these changes in costs. The government promised it would protect leaseholders and the government needs to deliver on that promise. I know some of the people affected. I've, I've, I've done casework and, and been a neighbour uh, when, when I lived here. This was the address on the ballot paper that I stood in 2015. So it's, it's, uh, it's very sad that this has come so close to home. Despite being shared ownership, the fire safety work isn't shared. Oyster Court's residents are liable for all the work. If they could have another roll of the dice, many would never have bought these flats.